Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the 30 gallon and uh, the light I have on here, as well as the uh, Kenyan tree. I think it's a Kenyan tree, I'm not sure. So, not 100% on that, but uh, as well as the hair algae, if I can get my clownfish to swim in there, because I saw I like, I've been seeing them swim in there a little bit, but not as much at nighttime. So, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start off with the lighting here. Uh, I'm using a Coral Life Mini LED to, for this tank, which uh, is a pretty cheap light. It's like $80 on Petco, um, and you can get it at Petco's website or at their, most of their stores. And it's supposed to be a uh, refugium light. But you can use it for your tanks or most other things. It just comes with a small little remote for controlling, and you can you can use it for uh, timers on there and stuff like that. But I haven't really figured most of that stuff out yet. I've been using it for about a year, and the funny thing is, I can keep an anemone alive with this—a rose bubble tip anemone, which I've been using. I've had for about a month and a half, two months, and. Seems to be doing great. Uh, it's been eating fine, uh, taking food fine, uh, hosting the clownfish. Uh, I mean, Romeo and Juliet seem to like it. Juliet seems to like the rose bubble tip anemone a lot more, and uh, Romeo seems to like the algae more or the powerhead. So I don't know what's up with that. But okay, so moving on to the uh, next thing. I tried to frag my, uh, I think, Kenya tree, which I don't think it's actually a Kenya tree because I think it's, I'm just going to call it Mystery Coral. I think the guy at the fish store just told me it was related to it um, because I think Kenya trees look a little bit different. The frag now looks like this. So, I tested the water of that tank, which is, I'm not going to show any more of that tank because it's supposed to be a surprise. And... The phosphates are way too high, and I forgot to test the water before I put it in, so, yeah. Um, I feel like I'll, I'm going to wait a little bit again before I try that. Um, okay, so, as you can see, Romeo really likes to hang around the hair algae, or just this corner of the tank, uh, and the wave maker, but necessarily he thinks he's going to get fed right now. And he's the smaller one, um, and Julia's the bigger one. And how I tell normally is I just, when I'm really tired, I just look at the darker one as Juliet, and the lighter one is Romeo. And I like, and Mikey's always going to think he's going to get a snack. But anyway, uh, I think uh, the reason that Juliet's darker but is because of she has more uh, of immunity to the anemone. I don't know, that's just me. I don't know very much about the... Uh, I think they're tomato clowns? Uh, or cinnamon, I'm not sure which one. Cinnamon and tomato clowns are pretty similar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, peace.